So if we talk about, for example, a superhero like Black Panther, Black Panther becomes critical because he symbolizes, in my mind, um, a anti-colonial critique, a critique of white supremacy, a critique of, of colonialization, a critique of Western geopolitics, because his, his country, Wakanda, is the only African country that has not been colonized, right? So that has implications if we're going to put that country alongside all the countries that were colonized, right? So Wakanda and the Panther become a symbol of African independence, become a symbol of the uh, growth and development that could have hypothetically taken or uh, had occurred or could occur with those countries that weren't colonized. So it's an interesting thing to, to deal with the Panther alongside that kind of political, cultural backdrop. So when I see uh, the Panther uh, with his super science, right, when I see the Panther in Wakanda as this uh, nation that is uh, more advanced in Western society, it becomes a critique of the real politics of colonialization. It becomes a critique of the real politics of neo-colonialization that has uh, undermined the people's uh, ability to take care of themselves, undermined their politics, undermined uh, their, 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 their social economic status. So it's interesting to kind of play that image of an unspoiled Africa against the history of the real politics of colonialization, right? So that's, for me, the Black Panther. And just on the side note, he's like one of my favorite, you know, just one of my favorite superheroes, right? Uh, but politically speaking, uh, culturally speaking, ideologically speaking, he's communicating a lot more than just being cool.